we are asked to consider the graph of the parabola shown on the right. We want to begin by determining the open interval for which the function is increasing, then determine the open interval where the function is decreasing. Formally, we say a function is increasing on an open interval if for any x sub one and x sub two in the interval, x sub two greater than x sub one implies f of x sub two greater than f of x sub one, which means the graph goes uphill from left to right. A function is decreasing on an open interval if for any x sub one and x sub two in the interval, x sub two greater than x sub one implies f of x sub two less than f of x sub one, which means the graph goes downhill from left to right. So looking at the graph of the parabola from left to right, notice how starting on the left moving to the right, the graph goes downhill over this interval, which means the function is decreasing over this interval until we reach the vertex, this low point, and notice how the vertex is represented by the ordered pair negative three comma negative four. And then to the right of the vertex, the graph goes uphill from left to right, and therefore the function is increasing over this interval. So to the left of the vertex, the graph is going downhill and decreasing, and to the right of the vertex, the function is increasing. So looking at the problem, the function is increasing on what open interval? Well, the function is increasing from negative three to the right approaching infinity, and therefore the open interval is from negative three to infinity. And the graph is decreasing on the open interval from the left all the way to negative three, which means the function is decreasing over the open interval from negative infinity to negative three. Let's graph these two intervals on the horizontal or x-axis. The open interval from negative three to infinity would be this interval here. The function is increasing over this interval or to the right of negative three. And the open interval from negative infinity to negative three would be this interval here. Again, to the left of negative three where the function is decreasing. And whenever a function changes from decreasing to increasing, we are going to have a low point, which represents a relative minimum. But because this is the lowest point of the entire graph, we can say this point represents an absolute minimum, or we can just say a minimum. So we can say the function has a minimum, and the minimum function value is the y value or function value of this point, which is negative four. The location is at the x value, and therefore the minimum of negative four occurs at x equals negative three. So again, the max or min function value is always the function value or y value. The location is always the x value. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, looking at the graph from left to right, starting on the left, moving to the right, the graph is going uphill over this interval, and therefore the function is increasing until we reach the vertex. And notice now the vertex is a high point. The ordered pair for the vertex is negative one comma three. And then to the right of the vertex, notice how the graph goes down, and therefore the function is decreasing over this interval. So the function is increasing over the open interval to the left of negative one. To the left, we approach negative infinity, and therefore the function is increasing over the open interval from negative infinity to negative one and then the function is decreasing over the open interval from negative one to the right or from negative one to infinity. Again, let's graph these intervals on the x-axis or horizontal axis. Negative infinity to negative one would be this interval, which is where the function is increasing. And from negative one to infinity would be this interval where the function is decreasing. For this graph, the function changes from increasing to decreasing, which means the vertex represents a relative maximum this time, but because it's the highest point of the entire graph, it also represents an absolute maximum or just a maximum. So this function has a maximum of the function value or y value of positive three at the x value or the location of x equals negative one. I hope you found this helpful.